group dynamics is group dynamics is concerned with the interaction and force among group members in social situation in the context of this course of management functions and behavior it is important to understand dynamics of members of formal or informal groups in the organization in the 1930s court levis popularized the term group dynamics to mean interaction of forces among group peoples in the social situations you are already familiar with in unit first is with the three style of leadership that is authoritarian democratic and laissez faire with levin 1939 and his associate associates have developed by creating three different social members or uh, for the three styles of leadership in course of time various meanings were attached to the term groups dynamics kali 1974 one of the meaning suggest how a group should be organized and conducted in democratic leadership member participation and overall cooperation are emphasized another meaning of group dynamics is that it is a set of techniques in various group exercises is tries to make the leaders as well as the members effective an attempt is made to make the above members play their roles in dynamics in a management situation of group discussion team building finding out various solution to problem by brainstorming and understanding ourselves in relation to others while we transact on interact with others such exercises are also provided in situation where only members are present and no leader exists in direct or control the group all these exercises are techniques to develop both the individuals as well as organization in which he or she works the last meaning of the term group dynamics is closest to levis levins use of terms suggesting internal nature of the groups as to how they are formed what their structures and processes are how they function and affect affect individual members other groups and the organization in this unit our maintain our main attention will be focused on the third meaning of the term you will appreciate therefore the plan here to start with defining a group and then consider the dynamics of group formation